Have you talked to your dad recently? Why? Hi and welcome back to Real Reviews, where today I'm diving into Love Lies Bleeding. That's right, it's the Sundance Film Festival smash hit from this year, featuring Christian Stewart, Kathy O'Brien, Ed Harris and Dave Franco. The fact that it's also directed by Rose Glass in her second feature film following on from St Maud is also an added bonus. So let's dive into exactly what it is about this redneck revenge thriller, which is going to get audiences piling through the door come May 5th. Where did you appear from? Oklahoma. I've never been anywhere but here. What were you doing with that big girl? <sighs> Get a lot of crazy ass foreigners mostly. How's it going, guys? This here's Jackie. Hi. She needs a job. Say she'll do anything. Yeah, you like guns? Not really. What the fuck are you doing here then? So anyone who's been keeping up with the media will be well aware of that Rolling Stone cover, the one with Kristen Stewart on the front, obviously with her hands down her pants. Uh, that is not what this film is about. Yes, it is an empowerment film from a feminine perspective. Yes, it does explore elements of masculinity in terms of the toxic variety. And also it is uh, a very openly gay film in terms of the sex scenes are very graphic, they're very sensual. Um, but that is far and away beyond the point of the entire exercise, in my opinion. Um, it works fundamentally as a good film, and that is, the, the, to be honest, that's all that matters here. Um, it is a well-constructed revenge thriller, as I said in the opening. Um, you've got Christian Stewart playing Lou. She's a gym owner. Um, uh, Kathy O'Brien comes into town, this sort of like, she's uh, on her way to a, a bodybuilding, uh, competition in Las Vegas and they connect they just there are sparks fireworks kick off and uh, a whole cavalcade of events then ensue on top of that you've also got the gun toting senior element in the cast which is Ed Harris taking on the uh, character of Lou senior who is a real shit kicker and I swear very rarely so forgive me you've also got Dave Franco in there as JJ who is doling out some domestic abuse and simply needs to be dealt with. This is a very tense, very sensual, uh, very, um, shall we say, uh, it, it, it's a very um, intense sort of uh, thriller, if you will. There is still very much an indie vibe to it um, and it does take its time getting to the point to a certain degree. But this is a very character-driven piece, so let's dive into what else it is about Love Lies Bleeding, which is going to be worth your attention, and more importantly, worth your time. What is this place? Huh? You don't understand. Get back in the car. They found a body. Looks like you've got your hands full. Don't regret this. We'll just need to fight back. I'm gonna tell them everything you ever did. FBI, open up. Are you threatening me? Yep. Well, that was really stupid, honey. So in my opinion, this is forget the hype, forget the hyperbole, and don't uh, don't take everybody's opinion as read. Go and see this film for yourself because it's one of those which is going to be uh, it's going to be worthy of debate. There's going to be discussion around it. People should have an opinion because it will be an important film culturally on a number of different levels. It has a lot to say, but underneath all of that you've just got a great film with some good performances across the board you've got ed harris in stone cold legend um in in that sort of mode uh, as lou senior you've got christian stewart who is showing an uncompromising versatility in her choice of roles lately um, but above and beyond those things you've got kathy o'brien who is just a force of nature in this film as jackie and and worth the entrance fee alone dave franco also does an excellent job as JJ being cast against type. So let's dive into that rating and let me tell you exactly what I think 
of Love Lies Bleeding. I'll never fall in love, okay? So after a month of this film sitting in my head before I write a single word, I have come to a conclusion which surprises even me. I'm going to give this a four out of five on the big old five scale. When I first saw it, it didn't really gel. It didn't really stick with me. But on reflection and over a period of weeks, I've just been thinking about it constantly. And it's, it, it is what it is. That's what I'm going to give it. I give it for all the reasons that I've just addressed, all of those things I've just shared with you personally. And on that note, let's dive into the trailer, shall we? And so it is that you've come to the end of my video review for Love Lies Bleeding, which is in cinemas and on release from May the 5th. If you've liked this video, then give it a thumbs up. Failing that, you can just drop a comment in the comment box below and I will respond. And finally, just subscribe so that every Tuesday and every Saturday when I drop another one of these videos, you'll get a little notification and you can pop in and watch or listen to as much or as little as you like and then go about your day. In the meantime, check out the rest of the channel and maybe pop over to the Patreon page. Take care.